from Colorado's High Definition News Leader. This is 9 News at Noon. Well, if you only had weeks to live, what would you do? John Jenkins knew the answer to that question, and the 85-year-old got the chance to fulfill his dream. 9 News reporter Jessica Zartler has his story. On a sunny day, on a field near the Chatfield Reservoir, I'm five. <laughs> John Jenkins is waiting. However, I'm overwhelmed with all this. He has a lot of stories in 85 years, but one he has wanted to tell, riding in a hot air balloon, a last wish. I'm under the care of a hospital. You know what that means? I'm on the downhill side. And there is, this day, his chance to go up. But just as soon as the balloon guides unpacked the balloon, they had to put it away. We don't like to fly when it gets too windy. The landings get extremely rough. All I want to do is go in a balloon. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll make it happen. We'll have a good time. Okay, Gary. A week later, the same time, same field, it wasn't the same John. He, he's progressed quite a bit since last week even. Not feeling well, but refusing to miss his second chance. John pushed on. Grab on to whatever you need to. We're pushing, John. You just <laughs> get that do the other part. leg over. Perfect. There you go. Sit down. Sit down on it. Yep. Sit right there. Just make him smile for a day. He hasn't been able to do that much lately. He's thinking that while wow, it's worth every bit of hardship to get here with nobody else around. But you can't believe how serene. I know. Yeah, I just miss it. And you can see everything for miles. You can't beat it. It's a thrill. This is once in a lifetime. Absolutely perfect. A thrill so great, John is at peace. He lost his battle with cancer just a few days after his balloon ride. His family is thankful, though, that he did get to fulfill that dream before heading off to his next adventure. I look down on all you folks and say, sorry you can't come with me. Jessica Zartler, 9 News.